In this video, we're going to talk about how to find crypto whale that you can copy trade. So as you can know, finding interesting wallets on chain is really important if you want to up your game in trading, because after all, crypto is a social game. And if you can find people that are early to some coins, then you probably can do the same. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that on nonsense. So this is going to be a tutorial and I'm going to give you very concrete examples. So let's get started with something super interesting, which is smart contra uh, smart segments here on nonsense. Basically what you can do here is, uh, let's try to clear it and I'm going to find you uh, that again. Uh, basically what you can do here with the smart segment is that you can look for example for top holders or of a particular token. So let's say we want to have a look at Pepe and we want to have a look at say top 1000 holders and we can give a particular date. So let's go for a date one year from now in time, 2023, July, 2023. Uh, that's okay, we're going to save that uh, and we're going to generate the segment. Now, what's happening is that you have 1000 holders on this partic particular date, which is really amazing because you can, for example, look for particular meme coins and see who's the top holder, uh, especially in the beginning, who's the, who's the one who discovered the coin early on and invested quite a lot. So we're going to, of course, in the beginning, you have a lot of wallets from uh, like exchanges because that's the date that Pepe is already popular. Pepe was out, I think, around April. So that's already three months after that. Uh, so you have many exchanges, but we're looking for uh, top wallets. For example, you have Hack here, Hack.eve. Uh, so if you were to click on Hack.eve, uh, you will get to the profiler. This is the same thing that you can go with Nansen Profiler and just go with the profile directly if you want to. But then you can see the entire wallet and you can really see whether this one uh, is a person that you can follow or not. Uh, looking at his uh, uh, portfolio, I think this is definitely a whale, right? We see that he has $25 million. Uh, it seems to be um, a, uh, an individual, not a company, not an exchange. So that's a good thing. And then his token balances shows that basically he holds this Pepe up to this point. Uh, he has many other tokens as well. He's like invested quite a lot in uh, Wojak, Mog, Mumu, Spurdo, SPX, Nibu, and a bunch of other uh, things that are on EVE. So this is really great. You can see what he's uh, got into and also what he's holding. So uh, the trading summary as well. You can see that how he basically how he performs. Uh, so going from that day that we started, meaning that the the uh, end of July 2023, you can see that he has uh, well he already had two million dollars in Pepe, but he basically hold everything up to now. So you can see that most of his portfolio is Pepe, and he basically hold this two million dollars in Pepe without selling up to this point and this is the portfolio that got him well up to 20 million dollars in pepe currently a little bit lower but still 24 million dollar in pepe uh wojak almost a million dollar uh, and a bunch of other tokens as well so this is a pepe whale that might be interesting if he gets into other coins he has a bunch of other coins that he got into uh, you can see also his trading summary all uh, all the trading summary in the past days or the, just the last 90 days. So that's already cool. And you can see his PNL. So that's uh, something unique that came to Nansen recently. Um, and this is something that you can see uh, how much uh, money he made, what's his really PNL uh, and how much he turned in the end. Uh, so this is really cool stuff here that you can uh, have a look at how much he has in unrealized profit, uh, how much he holds still. Uh, so really great stuff. You can have all the trading performance. And if you want to see what's going on here with this particular uh, wallet, this is a good place uh, to start. So this is for uh, for the profiler. You can do this PNL with any kind of profile if that you have. So if we were to go back to the smart segments and now let's create another smart segment, but this time let's go with Mog, uh, another great coin from um, which is uh, pretty big. Mock coin, we're going for 1000 uh, top holders, and we this time we're going for uh, let's say yesterday, uh, and we're going to generate the segment and see who's the top holder right now, uh, and maybe we can find some interesting whales. Uh, and the cool stuff is that you can also look for uh, people that are. Um, uh, that, that uh, are in uh, different coins and they keep on uh, coming into this coin. So for example, you have Huck again, you can see him uh, here. This is the guy that we checked. Uh, 
Uh, we have Paradiso, another trader. So maybe we go after Paradiso. This seems to be another elite trader. Uh, you have all those labels. You can also use your own labels as well, but you have labels like uh, Token Millionaire, has a token balance of at least $1 million. And this is something you uh, can keep going after. And again, if you look at the historical balance, then basically last year he had already quite a lot in uh, different coins, but most of his portfolio was MOG uh, and a, bit, a little bit of Bitcoin, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10, Inu. Uh, but then he sold uh, Bitcoin here, as you can see, put most of that into MOG, some into SNX. So that's a DeFi protocol, I think. Um, and then he, uh, he let ride the MOG uh, to the present moment and that basically made him uh, made him millions so uh, 24 million dollar to be uh, to be exact you can see his recent trades you can see other coins that he's into like apple so for example his that's the, his second biggest portfolio is apple right now so that's another very well known meme coin right now so you can see stuff like that uh, and then again we can go to pnl and see uh, how he's doing how he's performing here uh, what what exactly he's doing uh, to compare whether we want to follow him or not. But generally speaking, he's he was also in Pepe with the $27,000 profit, uh, 81,000 profit in uh, Apple and 250 in Mog. I think that's more, but that's like the last 90 days. So I think if you go with uh, all that uh, you will get, um, you will get many more stuff. Um, that was interesting here. Maybe I just uh, compare up uh, that he lost money on Turbo, uh, even though Turbo was really doing pretty well uh, before. Okay, so here's a little bit of uh, different profits in Link, and of course uh, this is much higher with one million dollar in Mog. But you have unrealized profit, which is forty million dollars in Mog, uh, which is pretty amazing. So that's when it comes to smart segments and how you can use that to find the profilers. Another great option is uh, smart money first. So this is what uh, are the top trades recently. Uh, you can look for, for example, Dex trades, what people are buying and selling. Uh, and especially here, uh, you can also look for only new tokens. So this is something you can generate, uh, see what people are buying and selling, especially the smart money. Uh, and this way you can find wallets that will give you uh, particular also filters. So for example, let's say that the minimum amount that you're looking for is like $10,000. Right. This is the uh, this is the filter. You can also do the labels like with Dex traders, something like Smart Dex Trader, uh, and look for that. It takes a little bit of time to generate everything uh, if you put all the filters, but uh, in the end you will have uh, you will have everything here. Uh, and this you can go after 24 hours or seven days. Uh, and you can see what people are buying or selling. And this way, either discover new coins, because that might be interesting, uh, tokens that uh, are related to you know particular events in time, uh, but also you can see what people are after. So of course you have if at the first place, but then you can, for example, see that there is Turbo, uh, you have PX if uh, that's another one. Uh, so you have larger coins, but definitely from meme coin perspective, you have Turbo. And then you can see those particular traders here. You can of course go here and compare uh, what they're doing. So this one, for example, is trading, uh, uh, to, to tra trading different meme coins. I think that might be a bot due to excessively high trade activities. So you can see the portfolio. This is definitely a bot, uh, but uh, he has like $2 million portfolio altogether. So really interesting stuff. So uh, smart money, that's another one. And I wanted to show you also signals. Uh, so signals is great because you have particular event and particular news related to what's happening on the particular blockchain. So you can go with any, basically any EVM. So you can go with Blast, you can go with Base, say that's the two most interesting ones and maybe Ethereum. Uh, if you're after meme coins, if you're after DeFi, then probably other filters uh, are uh, important. And then you can go with either token flow or maybe like, uh, also DEX token flow. Uh, this might be interesting. Uh, for example, if I were to discover new tokens, those are the filters that I would take. Uh, token flow and DEX token flow uh, to have everything. And then I would go with those chains. Uh, you can do much more. And also I should mention that uh, Nansen will introduce Solana at a certain point, which is a really great news. So for now it's EVMs, but they will have Solana within the next couple, maybe probably two to three months of what I heard. And when they do that, this will be a very unique tool for discovering whales that you can copy on Solana as well. Uh, I don't think there's any tool like that uh, so far.
but if you're trading meme coins on base or blast or ethereum this is for now the best tool to discover whales that you can then copy with one of the bots uh, one of the platforms uh, say like bull uh, that's really really great for for uh, taking that and, and using on, on the platform so really recommend having a look as you can see here uh, there are different part of um, a different part of um, uh, news here that are related to different tokens and those are really great because you have already the price action here the market cap of the particular token uh, so they show you basically everything together with the short snap of what the particular token is doing and also the event being uh, sending um, different token to different places so this is really great if you want to look for particular news uh, i really recommend that uh, definitely worth checking out uh, i should also mention token and token gout, mo gout mode uh, for particular tokens we go with pepe this is the final way to discover different whales uh, if you have token gout mode then again you can go to smart money uh, on token gout mode and see who bought and this is a very unique and recent feature you can have the list of the largest dex buyers sellers of the specific token sorted by volume over the specified time frame so this excludes uh, inflow outflow from sexes or other addresses but you have everything so you can see all those for example token millionaires here uh, that you can go after and again see his pnl do everything that you want to analyze his portfolio so this is really a place to go if you're after uh, watching particular tokens based on the largest token so the because i think that's the best start like you want to have a token that has already um, an established uh, a position like pepe mock uh, harry potter obama sonic Tenino, maybe some of the uh, meme coins also on the lower end from like 50 million dollar market cap uh, but then you can see who bought you probably can avoid mev bots of course and different other bots but you can see for uh heavy dex traders or people like say x1 there on the open c a uh, couple of things like uh, that and then you can see uh, everything related for example to smart money tokens held by smart money with the number of wallets comparing so you have uh, those kind of stats here uh, and you can see when the start uh, when the smart money was leaving in this case uh, very interesting stuff so with all the labels that they have uh, they definitely uh Nansen is definitely leading when it comes to labeling on-chain data currently especially if you're looking after tokens so check the link down below in the description uh that's my referral uh, vip link that will give you some kind of bonuses um, and of course enjoy playing online uh, playing on chain with crypto but of course nothing here is financial advice crypto is risky uh, you should always do your own research before jumping to any of the tokens but of course have the best information provided to you by nansen see you on chain thank you subscribe to the channel see you in the next video